Okay. Last video, we started on this derived class. Um, we uh, discussed how to change the calling convention of a class to a this pointer. That way we can create um, a class over here that will keep track of all the data that uh, we assign to the, in this case, derived namespace. So um, one of the things that I didn't do last time is change this. Uh, to just a name that way in the future if I'm looking at this I know this is a derived V table what I also want to do while I'm here is go ahead and do some basic analysis on these functions um, to see if I can determine what they do um, so we're just going to start at the top here we can see that we conveniently have a uh, a string that's being output that uh, is called counting. We're gonna edit. We we know that this is a this call because it's a virtual function call. Um, so we're gonna name it that. Um, we are going to let's see. We have that. We're gonna get rid of that one. Um, so now we have the this call and we have uh, some parameter that's going to set the bounds in which we're going to count. So we're going to rename this to derived count. So here we can see um, hopefully the colors, the colors show up correctly in the video. But um, we can see here that it has added this count function into our class derived right here. We will continue on. We'll go back to the virtual table here. And we can see that this is going to be a get um, function. Uh, and the, the reason why I know that is this is a this pointer. It is returning an offset for the get pointer, or for the this pointer. In this case, the offset of eight. So what you're going to get if you call this is the value of uh, this guy right here. Um, edit function signature, and this. Uh, we don't need that. We do need a return value because it's Say it's a get. Um, so then we'll rename it to derived get off zero x eight, and we can see that it's been added down here. So again, we'll move on back to our V table. This is also a get. So the same process here. There we go. This one is a switch statement and it doesn't look like it is returning anything. So change it to this. We'll keep around that short because that is the actual switch. Um, rename derived 
switch. There we go. And we have the switch there. And then what we have at the very bottom here are going to be um, delete and it, they're, they're deconstructors. Um, so uh, we're just going to call this decon1 and decon2. Um, we don't really care about um, putting it into our class. We could if we wanted to, um, but I'm I'm not going to. Uh, so we got that set up. We can move on to um, this constructor now, and we know it's a constructor because um, well, it it looks exactly like this guy, right? Um, where it's allocating memory and then being passed into this, but also just from experience, um, this is most likely a constructor. And again, uh, as you as you do C plus plus reverse engineering, you'll you'll kind of have a, a hunch uh, for that as well. So. Um, we conveniently again have a string here that says creating nesting or creating nest object. So we already knew that this was going to be a this call like that, and we'll create a class. Uh, we'll edit the class type um, instead of auto class we want to rename it to nest and we also want to rename this to nest as well so this is our virtual table for this and it looks like we um, have one that is, this is only a test. So we'll call it like that. Um, this we know this is the constructor so we'll do that um, and this says hello yep. nest hello Go ahead and name it while I'm here. Um, you know, this is a virtual pointer. And what else do we have here? Um, we can also create a structure. Corner. This will be test and this will be hello. Getting that directly from that. So this will be nest uh, v table. That we can then use to put right here. Create a pointer to. All right. Um, so what it what is this doing? Um, this is allocating or malloking 
some space. So this C is going to be a pointer. Uh, this 10 is going to be a pointer. Um, this is going to be a number. Um, that is going to be a character array. Or character pointer, I'm sorry. Um, and it looks like a hash, maybe. So we'll call it hash. Um, so, if we take a look at this, um, what is happening here is a portion of this hash is being copied into, uh, let's see, it's being copied into 10, offset 10, and offset C. So these are also going to be character arrays. And this will be a hash substring one and hash substring two. And we won't dive into, um, I'll kind of let you you know, go through this and figure out how exactly this works. I won't dive into um, that too much. And then for this offset four, this is just a number. We'll call this cigarettes one three three seven for now. And then what we want to do is go back to our derived constructor and we want to say that this is a nest right here and it is a nest pointer perfect okay uh, I'm gonna close some of this out down here and uh, for now that looks like we have um, successfully set up our derived class. Um, we still don't know what these values are. Um, there are some times where you never know what those values are. Um, we do know, however, we get these values. Um, this should be called get. Uh, we do know that the we you know we have methods that get these values but we have no um, meaningful information on what exactly these are so in this case I wouldn't assign a name to them until uh, you know somewhere later uh, it's obvious to me what exactly these are you know if, if there's some type of uh, flag or something like that so if we go back up to this function, uh, one of the things that that we need to do is edit. Um, so in this structure view here, we can choose edit. Um, we want to edit this virtual table to better represent what we discovered earlier which was count um, get offset uh, eight um, get offset C this was our switch this was our decon one and our Decon two. So now, whenever we go back up here, things look a whole lot better than they did 20 minutes ago when um, this was kind of random gibberish. 
So here we can see that whenever our count is called, we're passing in the, the this pointer, and we're also count we're also passing in whatever random number. Um, so if we do an analysis on count, uh, this will be random. So what's happening here is offset eight and offset C is getting set. Um, so this will be a counter. Um, so th this is only going to increment. Um, so this is going to exactly match whatever our random number is. So this will be our random number. And this will be our um, counter value plus our random number. So what is that? Essentially double what our random number is. Um, is that right? Oh, no, multiple. Oh, that, that's a multiply. Uh, yeah, so counter times two. Um, So uh, that's what I would call this, just to kind of have a reference because I have no other, at this point in time, I have no other uh, information to, to go by to really understand what this means. So what I can do is go back to these functions and rename them to get counter um, times two and then uh, get random number Now, if we traverse back up, um, this was get random number and then get uh, counter times two. Sorry. Um, this is not counter times two, is it? <laughs> this is counter times random number. Counter times random number. Okay, sorry if I confused you there. We can then fill in this a little bit more, um, which we will get into on the next video.